Welcome back, traders. And yeah, yeah, we're going to be using that Galarian Rapidash yet again with Typhlosion and Tangrowth. Okay, so like I told you, we're going to be using the same team for a while here. We have the Ultra League for a little bit longer. Yes, I will be using different teams. Just really want to exhaust this one here before it is, I wouldn't say done for, but, um, you know, we have plenty of videos up. Anyways, with that said, let's see what we have going on here. So we are actually going to be going with the play rough the entire time with the Galarian Rapidash. Let's see if that makes a difference. Now up against the Charizard here, it's going to be kind of a slightly different scenario in where I'm going to have to be just going for body slams. We did get a shield out of them. Potentially, they thought we were going to go for a Psychic. Play Rough's not very effective to fire. And the nice thing about that is I don't have to worry about, oh, am I going to bait? Do I need to bait? Am I going to get this through? Blah, blah, blah. Just go Body Slam. So they're going in here with another fire. All right. Sounds good to me. And we're just going to Body Slam it. Pretty much taking it out almost. But that Typhlosion has a lot of energy ready to go. Now, for this first team, <laughs> this first team is not what we were looking for, right? It's um, a Swampert and Escavalier. But uh, yeah, we're going to go into the uh, team that we said here in just a moment after this one. So this is pretty much a GG here. Uh, they do have a shield left, but Escavalier has such a massive resistance to all of Venusaur's charge moves that we're just going to be able to absorb all of those. We do have the Swampert that does not want to see that uh, Venusaur whatsoever, right? As we all do know. And we're going to go ahead and let this one go through. We'll eventually shield up that last one but for now we're just going to keep absorbing these hit the drill run and take the win and then we're going to go into the team with the typhlosion and the tangrowth here easily my favorite team for the ultra premiere uh <laughs> you guys know i'm a big typhlosion fan as well as the galarian rapidash now shadow executor how would that work faring with these two well i don't really want two psychic type pokemon on my team i'm sure we can find some usability but it's going to be a bit risky. We'll see what we can do in the future. Anyways, for the next battle with the original team here, we're going to be met with a Glade. And this is actually pretty good. We will be resisting those confusions. We're going to go ahead and shield up that Leaf Blade. It does hurt quite a bit. And we are getting a shield out of them, which is fantastic. So what we're going to do is go ahead and let this go through and see if we can get to this play rough. No problem. Are they going to let it go through? It will KO. Can we get it? Oh my gosh, that was amazing. Now, if we did have Psychic, it wouldn't have done as much damage, right? They would probably would have gotten to another charge move. Unfortunately, we did go down with a Body Slam. They are down a shield. Well, we have one shield as well. So what are we going to do? Go to go ahead and go in here with the Typhlosion. Sure, we can go in with the Tangrowth, but they do have a bit of energy advantage, and I just want to be able to absorb the charge moves at this point. So they're throwing a Dragon Claw at us. Not quite two Blast Burns yet. That's okay. We're going to go ahead and throw this one here. It's going to hurt the Charizard quite a bit. We're getting that last shield out of them. Fantastic. So we're going to let this go through another Dragon Claw, farming up some more energy, getting to that Blast Burn. Now, I... Oof. How is this going to play out? Do I want to... They're swapping right as we get that off. We have a shield left. Okay, beautiful. I think we're going to be able to win this here. So basically, we're going to let this go through. It's going to be a drill peck, super effective. While the, uh, I was going to call it serves, the waterfalls are not very effective. Going to go ahead and uh, just absorb them. No problem. Holding on to that shield in case the Charizard is going to hit us with some sort of Dragon Claw. But unfortunately, we're not able to take them out on time. So we have to use that shield to see if we can hit this rock slide before they hit theirs. And this is going to KO the Charizard. Tangrowth pulling the win for us at the end. Fantastic. So we are going to rank up. It keeps throwing these legends at us. I mean, <laughs> all right, whatever, man. That sounds good to me. Uh, so they're going to be starting with a Charizard. It does have a legacy quick move. Okay, sounds good to me. So we're going to go ahead and go for that body slam, building up a bunch of energy to build the illusion. And we're getting a shield out of that legend. Fantastic. Going to go ahead and go for another body slam. And... Looking good. Obviously, they're going to be letting it go through here. And I think I actually let this go through. It is a blast burn. That's very unfortunate. So they are down a shield. What are we going to do here? We could go in with the Tang Growth, but looks like we're going to do the Typhlosion thing again. So this matchup is a little interesting because the Charizard is hitting us for neutral damage instead of not very effective with the Fire Spin. So building up to almost two blast burns here. Going to go ahead and throw this one to put on the pressure. They do want to use a shield. That was a clear indication to me that there is something back there that they do not want Typhlosion to see. As a matter of fact, maybe two. Oh, wow. Okay. Looks like I was right. So the first thing they're throwing at us is a Tangrowth, which is going to be able to spam the rock slide. Not a bad option to go in here with. If they don't try to catch, there's definitely something back there that does not want to see fire. Let's see what they have. Taking out that Tangrowth. Sorry, buddy. Uh, I really enjoy your company. And it is an Escavalier. Absolutely going to get destroyed by fire. We had a Blast Burn, but they're able to take us out with counter. I bet you that made them happy. 
And since we still do have a shield left, it, it, there's there's no way they can win this unless I let this go through and it was a Mega Horn. But I'm going to shield it up. It is an Aerial Ace. And we're able to get to another Rock Slide here. And we're going to be taking the win with the Tang Growth. Let's get it. So it is going to be part bug, bar, bug, <laughs> bark. Bug is weak to rock, but the steel is neutralizing it. So it does do a decent amount of damage. We're met with an S Cavalier. Absolutely do not like this lead at all. But like we've discussed, if you have horrible leads with this team that I'm using here, you don't want to switch all the time. So we're just going to go ahead and go for the play rough. Actually putting on a lot of pressure. That's at about half health. We're going to go ahead and let this go through as well because we can get to another play rough here. And I think we may get a shield out of them that is doing a lot of damage. Don't think they want to go down. Yeah, fantastic. So we did get a shield out of them. This is absolutely amazing. And they're going to be throwing their energy because it's going to be kind of hard for them to farm us down, being a psychic and fairy typing, hitting us with counter. Going to go ahead and go in here with Typhlosion. They do have a bunch of energy built up. So sure, we're at a even shield situation. They're swapping into a Shadow Venusaur. Typhlosion is absolutely taking control. They're letting it go down as if they were just using that to burn my energy. Well played there. We're going to go ahead and swap into our Tangrowth, seeing that they are locked in and they did swap. They're going for the crunch. We are holding on to our shields here. And we're going to go straight for that rock slide. I think they just caught this. Oh, they didn't. Okay, never mind. Using that last shield. And I think I actually let this go through. Yeah, we're getting a little brave here. Going to go ahead and let that through. And unfortunately... They just went in there and swapped, took us out. Well played, but this is how we're going to play. You want to play like that? Okay, fine. Typhlosion is going to come in here and just beam them up. Beam them up, Scotty. Let's go. Solar Beam will KO Gyarados. Gyarados is squishy as it is. Blast Burner already does a bunch of damage. Solar Beam, simply going to, you know, beam them up. Into the next one here. We're going to be met with a, a Dragonite. Finally, this is fantastic. Oh boy, love this lead here. They're swapping with some energy, and we're going to go right into our Typhlosion as they do go into the Escavalier. Now, this is going to be a drill run more than likely, so we're going to have to shield this up. Don't want to take all that damage, and we're going to be able to put on a bunch of pressure to the Dragonite with our Typhlosion. More than likely what they're going to come back into the battle with, right? Let's see. And, yep, there it is. We're going to go straight for the Blast Burn instantly. No messing around, and not very effective, and not even Shadow, and doing a stupid amount of damage <laughs> you could say disgusting amount of damage. Now going for another one here. I'm not trying to farm down. They're about to Dragon Breath this out of Oblivion. And they actually shielded it up using their first shield. Going in with the Rapid Ash. They already knew that was going to happen. We're going to swap right into our Tang Growth. Man, I love this team combination here. And we're going to go ahead and let this go through. Drill Peck. Yes, it does hurt. But we can take those Waterfalls. So no problem. Not going to waste a shield right now. Going for that Power Whip. They're holding on to their last shield. Can we make it to a Rock Slide? Yes, we can. Let's get it. Will we get a shield out of them? And we do. All right. Beautiful. So at this point, they're going to try to gain a little bit more energy and maybe even try to throw another charge move. I don't know if they have that much energy built up. I wasn't counting, but it doesn't matter. We're just going to go straight for a body slam and take them out before they can do anything to us. Because once that Dragonite is locked in here with the uh, Rapidash, uh, there's really nothing they can do unless they hit in a Hurricane. That's going to hurt us. But they are going to back out before we're actually able to take them out. Thank you, Rapidash. Really appreciate it. Into the next battle. All right, so this is a kind of a tricky situation here. Charm just does a lot of damage. We're not resisting it. Kalarin Rapidash is already squishy, so we're getting destroyed here while our, while our quick move is doing barely anything, but we are going to be able to spam it. That's the kind of a different uh, situation here. We're the fairy that can spam. That's the fairy that just hits hard with a quick move here. Uh, going for another body slam. Spam! We do have the Typhlosion that can resist it, but if we swap, they're going to counter swap us, right? So we're going to go ahead and go in here now and start uh, farming up. We're going to use a shield here, and just in case they throw it an Ancient Power, we could have survived it, no problem, but we want to preserve our health, seeing that they used a shield as well and building up the energy. They're bringing in a Surf Fetched, which is another clear indication that there's going to be something back there weak to Typhlosion. So I don't want this Typhlosion to go down. What we're going to do is go ahead and shield this up, get to the Blast Burn here, and I'm very, very curious to see what they have back there. Taking out the Surf Fetched, and it is an Obama Snow. There you go. So that's ex <laughs> So we're looking good here. An Energy Ball is not going to even take us out because it's going to be so resisted. Surviving, getting to the Blast Bird, and GG's. Typhlosion putting in that work. Let's go. Blast them. Alrighty. And I actually battled this guy a few days ago. So uh, let's see what we have for this one here. Met with the Charizard. So, since we do not have Psychic anymore, it's basically going to be building the illusion as if we're going for the Psychic. 
building up to almost two body slams if we get a shield beautiful no shield okay i was expecting him to shield because i think i threw psychic at him the first time last time so he's going to be going blast burn and swapping into sir fetched we're going to go ahead and go for the body slam to see if we can get a shield because this is a psychic they're letting it go through very brave we're just going to go ahead and stay in here because we do have the typhlosion or the tang growth that could handle the charizard right yes tang growth is grass but it has rock slide spam uh, so we're going to go ahead and let this go through. It is a brave bird. Very interesting. They are going to be lowering that defense severely. And I think I want to start going in here and farming down with the Tangrowth and building up that energy for the possible Charizard. And if they're running a Charizard, I think there might be some potential uh, weaknesses in the back to grass. So we're going to go ahead and go for that Rock Slide here. Probably going to get a shield. Absolutely. And we're going to be able to outpace them, but they're swapping. So it doesn't look like something weak to grass. It's just I'm a champ. And this is very interesting. We're going to let this go through. Absolutely. And there's no more shields on their end. This will KO the Machamp. All right. And in comes our Charizard. They're going to be able to farm quite a bit, but we're going to be able to get to a Blast Burn. And they're forced to throw their energy, so we're not using our shield here. Going to simply go in here with the Tangrowth. Build up to that Rock Slide. Just a little bitty bitty. And take them out with that hard hit and move. Extremely effective against Charizard's Fire and Flying type. Alrighty, let's go into the next battle. We're going to be met with a Venusaur. We don't really like this. I'm, I'm not going to lie. It's a decent matchup, but it's very threatening because of the Frenzy Plant. They don't even need to throw Sludge Bomb. Obviously, that would KO, but Frenzy Plant's going to be doing it pretty much. So let's see how much a Frenzy does. Yep, there you go. So if we do throw a Psychic, obviously that's going to be KOing, but we don't have a Psychic, but we still are able to get a Shield. But I didn't really mind it too much because what we're going to do is go ahead and go in here with Typhlosion and try to come out of this battle with some energy here. We are going to be throwing a Blast Burn because I don't want to shield up a Sludge Bomb or take more damage. We will be able to survive, but barely. They do have an Obstagoon back there, so here we go. We're already building up a bunch of energy. I think we're going to let this go through. Nope, we're shielding it. Okay, I don't know if that was the best call in the world, but I think two Blast Burns is going to do it. We'll get a shield out of them here. All right, and swapping into our Tang Growth because if they're shielding that up, I feel like, I keep saying this, but I feel like there's something back there that does not want to see the Typhlosion. So we're going to go ahead and swap here, go for the Power Whip, do as much damage as we can because all shields are down at this point. And they did catch it with a Togekiss. I'm going to have to say that was really nice. I didn't even notice that. And uh, I think, yeah. <laughs> but we're able to still, you know, take out that Togekiss with that Rock Slide. Tang Growth is just an absolute beast. In comes Obstagoon to farm a little bit more. But we have a Blast Burn ready to go. That's GG's. Typhlosion, thanks, buddy. Really appreciate all the work you've been putting in. Got to give this guy a raise. Triple raise. All right, so into the next battle. I think this is actually our last battle. And we're met with a Alolan Raichu. So... This is interesting here. I just kept thinking, okay, we have the Tang Growth to handle it, no problem. So I decided to just let this thing take me out because they revealed they had Grass Knot. They're actually going to have, I would think, a, an electric move, probably Wild Charge uh, alongside that. So we can go in there with the Tang Growth and farm down. That's a perfect amount of health to farm down with Tang Growth. They're going to be able to throw energy, but it's not very effective. And, you know, Vine Whip's going to gain energy very fast here. So unfortunately, they did lower their defense, so we didn't get as much farm as we initially wanted. And they're coming in here with an Umbreon, and, you know, this is kind of, you know, this is good and all, I don't mind it, but I really wanted to go up against one with my Rapidash with Play Rough. I just want to see how much damage a Play Rough would do to a level 51 um, best buddy Umbreon. The Ultra League. So going in here with Typhlosion, shielding this up. Typhlosion doesn't care about no level 51s. It's just going to burn you into a crisp. Simple as that. So getting off the first Blast Burn, Umbreon is absolutely threatened by that, shielding it up. And we're going to go ahead and let this go through because Umbreon honestly doesn't really hit that hard and Typhlosion is going to be able to take that no problem here. Going for another Blast Burn. And we're getting two shields out of the Umbreon. You know, it'd be funny if I named this video, something in the back is weak to fire. <laughs> All right, so we're building up here and swapping because we do have energy ready to go. And this is going to be, I think, enough to take out the Umbreon. And we want to preserve that Blast Burn for whatever's back there. Yep, exactly. Clefable, can we get to two? Oh my gosh, Typhlosion. You already know what it is. We're going to incinerate everything. Anyways, if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for new turn notifications on. I'll be keeping you up to date on everything Pokemon Go and bringing you some more battles. Thanks for watching and take care.